Learn stuff. Yeah. Hey, Greg here. This is the first in a series of videos where I walk you through every step you have to take to live stream like a pro. In this first video, I'm gonna walk you through the technology you could use and how to connect it all together. Let's get started. All right, the simplest way to start live streaming is to use your webcam. So let's plug in a webcam. I've got the Unity 20 by Clear One, and um, just plug that in. And for our purposes, we're gonna use Facebook Live. So here I am in the Greg in the Box Facebook uh, page, and all you have to do is scroll down to Create and choose Live. This brings you into the Live Producer, and the first thing you have to do if you're gonna use a webcam is make sure that you've got uh, the Use Camera as an option. So we'll click on that. And with the camera selected, if there's no drivers are ready to go, then you should see under the Setup section, the Unity 20, that's my webcam or whatever your webcam is called. And the microphone option is defaulting to the webcam as well. And that's pretty normal. So at that point, if you give your stream a title and description, then technically all you have to do is press go live and you're live streaming. Okay, so a webcam might be good video wise these days, but the problem is that little microphone that's in the webcam might be good for talking to your grandma, but it's not gonna cut it for a professional musical performance or some other kind of high quality performance that you wanna do as part of your live stream. So the first thing you wanna do, if you wanna get better at this, is to get a good audio interface. So let's have a look at the options for audio interfaces. There are a ton of audio interfaces on the market today. This one, for example, is PreSonus, and it has two inputs in the front. So that could be two microphones or a microphone and an instrument, if you wanted to sing or play your guitar or something like that. Um, and then this would plug into your computer via USB-C in this case. And then any of these mics could come up in Facebook Live. If you need more inputs, you can always buy a bigger interface, but something to keep in mind is that if you do have a regular mixer around, sitting around your house or available to you that you could use to mix your band, let's say, you could have eight inputs or 16, um, you could mix all of those inputs and then come out of the output and go into the inputs of the interface. That way, this is doing the mixer work and has a lot of options available to you for your band or for many, many mics, whatever it might be. And the interface does the job of converting that um, into a USB signal that can go into your computer and into Facebook Live or Zoom or whatever. Now, if you're just starting out and you don't have either of these or you wanna make an improvement of some sort, I recommend uh, what I have here, which is the Mackie Pro FX V series, and that comes in different sizes, of course, six, 10, etc. And it is both a mixer and an audio interface. It's great for beginners or people that just want to live stream um, and don't need to do any really gigantic big productions. Um, and it gets you both of those functionalities in one purchase. So now let's take some microphones and some instruments. We'll run those into the mixer, show you how that all hooks up, and then connect the mixer to the computer and bring that up in Facebook Live and really bring your audio to the next level. Okay, so we are back in Facebook Live and we have our webcam, which we did get working well. Um, but now we can uh, see some different audio options. So under the um, audio choice in the setup section here, you can see that we were using our little microphone on our webcam. If you do the drop down arrow, you can see that the Pro Effects is now available. Now I should let you know that if the first time you hook up the mixer, uh, if you're on a PC, you do need to install the drivers from the Mackie website. If you're on a Mac, you don't need drivers. The natural core audio will work. So you'll want to do the drivers first or you won't see the Pro Effects appear here, but we've got the drivers ready. I had them already installed. So here you go. Line Pro Effects. There you go. Now, that means anything I bring up in the Mackie Mixer will come through here uh, into my live stream. And now you've got your band or your performance, your high quality microphones, whatever you're doing feeding 
Uh, really great sound with some, some reverb and effects if you need it right in the Facebook Live and you're already sounding like a million bucks. All right, now that your audio is rocking, let's talk about improving your video options in your live streams. Now the simplest thing you can do is connect another webcam. Now you can connect two webcams to the same computer, but Facebook Live is only going to want to pick one of those. So if you want to have two webcams from two different angles and switch back and forth between them during your show or your live stream, you'll need to use some other software to switch between the cameras. And that's something like OBS or Wirecast. Now these are streaming softwares or recording streaming softwares. And you can plug multiple things into those softwares and then come out of that software into Facebook Live. And I'll show you how to do that and work with those in a later video. For now, let me just show you two webcams into OBS just so you get the idea of the possibility. Now I've got another webcam here and it's uh, on a little tripod which is great and I've got it extended with a little extension cable. Now this is not much like 10 bucks on, on Amazon and get yourself a little 10 foot extension cable. Be careful sometimes your webcam won't work if the cables too long and I'm gonna put this over there hold on. Okay I'm back. Now let's look at OBS and see the two camera angles that are possible. Okay, here we go. So here we are in OBS, and like I say, I'll show you more of this in a later video, but what I've got is two scenes here. One is the webcam right on top of my monitor. The other is the webcam over there, which is not set up perfect at all. So I'm gonna point this down a little bit. Okay, so let's have a look at these two angles. So what you've got now is a close up of me which could be one of your main performers or members of your live stream or whatever angle you need in your event. And that's on top of the monitor. You can put it anywhere, but that's where that one is. And the other one is over there on a little tripod. Okay. So this could be a wide shot of your whole band or your whole dance troupe or whatever it is you're doing. And you can also cut back to your close up right here. So right away, what you've done is you've taken two webcams, plugged them into a software like OBS. And then what I'll show you in other video, uh, is how to take OBS and connect that uh, to Facebook Live. And then with an extra set of hands, because you'll need an extra set of hands to help out when you get this fancy, you'll be able to switch back and forth between different angles during your live stream. And that's going to, for the cost of a free software and an extra webcam and a little tripod and an extra set of hands, like a friend uh, helping out, uh, you can really bring your live streams to the next level simply by giving people different perspectives and cutting back and forth during the event. So the next thing I want to talk about is how you can improve not just multiple cameras, but improve the overall quality of your video signal. And that would be using something like a good quality camcorder or a really good quality digital SLR and plug that into your computer and into Facebook Live and really improve the overall quality of the video signal itself. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, let's look at how you can connect a camcorder like the Canon XA15 or a digital SLR if you have one uh, to your computer and your computer will think it's a webcam. How do you do that? Well most digital SLRs or modern camcorders, relatively newly manufactured camcorders, will have some kind of HDMI out. Um, in this case, you've got a micro or a smaller HDMI. So a standard HDMI cable won't work. You need some kind of adapter. Now you can get adapters like this that'll adapt the smaller HDMI into the full size HDMI that you're familiar with. Um, or you can get a cable that will actually do that for you. And this will convert US, not USB, sorry, HDMI in a mini to a full size HDMI. So if I go into this camera with this cable, you can get that almost anywhere. Just make sure you know what kind of connection your camera needs. And then connect that to this. This is a video capture adapter of sorts. This is 20 bucks on Amazon or almost anywhere. Um, it is excellent and works quite well, surprisingly well, and is a super affordable way to start using your camcorder or your digital SLR as a webcam in the softwares that we're talking about. So I'll plug that in this end. It's got HDMI on this end and USB on the other. Now it's a little bit 
cumbersome and thick there so I it's harder to deal with that when it's close to your computer so I do have a very short little USB extender that has a female end on this end so that I can connect that without having to try to get this bullet this big adapter really close to the body of my computer um, so that gets us connected and now it should show up in softwares like OBS or Wirecast and in Facebook Live uh, as a webcam. It'll just see this adapter as a webcam and you'll be able to take advantage of the good quality video that's so much superior to a webcam but it'll appear as a webcam in your software. So let's jump into Facebook Live and see if this shows up. All right, so here we are in Facebook Live. We hooked up our camcorder through our little adapter and uh, let's see if we can see it. So you can see in our Facebook Live event that we can, for our audio, we still have our Pro FX mixer selected, but for our camera, let's see what we have. We're still on the uh, webcam, the Unity 20 webcam. Let's do the drop down menu for that. And look, there you have something for USB video. And that's what these little adapters show up as. These little adapters will show up uh, as a USB video. So select that. Boom, there you go. Let's scroll up to the top so you can get a good look. So there you go. As you can see, that is a remarkable jump in quality from the webcam to professional camcorder or digital SLR. So that's gonna make a huge difference to your events. The quality jump there is remarkable, but it's still only one camera. So what if you want multiple good quality cameras, okay? That's why we need to talk about video switchers. And that's what I wanna do next. I wanna show you how you can plug multiple good quality cameras into all the different video switchers that are available and then come out of that video switcher into Facebook Live with one source and really put the final touches on an amazing live stream setup. All right, last but not least, let's use a video switcher, plug in two professional cameras and then take the output of the switcher and go into that same bullet, that same uh, video capture adapter that we were using and put that into Facebook Live and then switch between those cameras. Then it'll be super profesh. All right, here we go. First camera is the same Canon XA15 that I just showed you. I plugged it into input one. Then I also have the output of a um, another Canon, in this case a digital SLR, put that into two and then another HDMI cable and come out of the HDMI out one and plug the output, the program output as it's called, into that same adapter into the computer. Now I will say that this is a fairly new switcher. It has a lot of bells and whistles. It's an amazing piece of tech. Uh, it can directly connect. It also has a USB out, which would technically replace this. And you can go directly from the USB out of this switcher as a webcam signal right into your computer and Facebook Live. But we're just continuing to use this because it's already hooked up and it shows how the HDMI program out can go into any uh, sort of capture card and show up in your computer as well. Uh, so let's uh, go into Facebook Live again and have a look at these switch signals and just see how awesome your video component of your live stream can be. Okay, so here we are on Facebook Live and I switched back to the webcam so that you could see the big difference when we jump to these professional cameras as opposed to just a webcam signal. Uh, so let's scroll to the top here. There's our webcam directly on top of the monitor. Scroll back down and if you remember, uh, this input, these little adapters, they show up as USB video. So let's switch to that. Boom, and we'll scroll up. Amazing. So what you're looking at right here is the selection of the input two um, or source two on the switcher and then program out into the adapter into Facebook Live. So I can switch now to camera one, which is over there, or back to camera two, over there. Camera one, over there. Camera two, over there. So as you can see, that is pretty much world-class video production for very little money right into Facebook Live. Cool. There you have it. You've got great audio. You've got great video. Your live streams are gonna be amazing. In the next video, we'll walk through the settings that are required to set up your live stream event in Facebook. If this video has helped you, smash the like button. Leave me any comments or questions you have below and subscribe to Greg in a Box. Learn stuff. 
forget. 